Hey everyone, I'm Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a book review on It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I recently just read this book, and I loved it so much. It is a fantastic read. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars, and it was my first Colleen Hoover book I've ever read, and I'd heard great things about her, but I just never picked up one of her books. So this was the first one I ever picked up, and I'm so glad it was because I loved it so much. So... This book is about Lily, and growing up, she didn't have the best childhood. Her father was very abusive to her mother, and their marriage was just wasn't good. So growing up, like, that's what she had as in her mind as, like, that's a marriage. So she, her dad actually passes away, and that's kind of where the book starts. Like, that's not a spoiler. That's, you find that out on the first page. But her father passes away, and after that, that's kind of where she kind of feels freed. Because, yes, he was her father, but he was so abusive that she couldn't really see the good side of him. All she saw was the bad. So, it kind of takes off from there. She lives in Boston, and she meets this guy named Ryle. And he's a neurosurgeon, and he's gorgeous, and he's beautiful. And they kind of start a thing I don't want to say too much but you know like they start talking and things seem to be going great between them and then her ex-boyfriend from high school well he's not really her boyfriend I don't know how to explain it you just have to read it Atlas comes back into the picture and she doesn't know how to feel she doesn't know like she's kind of conflicted she also has like these journals that she wrote when she was 16 which is when she was with Atlas and she like goes back and reads those and you like figure out from those journals like her and Atlas's story. And so really it just takes, like it just goes on from there. It is a great book. I loved it. I, the last sentence of this book, I bawled my eyes out. Like I don't think I've ever cried so hard over a book, but like this book made me sob. And that really says something like this book was beautiful. And this book is actually very, like, personal to Colleen Hoover's own life. And I think that's really cool because she, like, wrote a book that related to her and her life. And this is, like, her most personal book. So, this book was so beautifully done. It was amazing. I loved it so much. You have to pick this up. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. It was that good and I just felt so connected to Lily as a character I really she was very like easy to connect to and it like, like I literally think I could cry like just thinking about this book it's that good um like I said in the beginning her parents do have an abusive relationship like her father's very abusive so I get it would be like a trigger warning for domestic abuse and um so you might if you like you know, if that's not really something that you want to read or can read, um, I wouldn't pick this book up because it does talk a lot about that because when she goes back in her journals with Atlas, she, like, talks about her father. And this book, but regardless of that, like, it's so good. It's so amazing. And I feel like it's, again, like, it's very realistic. And I feel like you feel like you're in the story and you feel how Lily feels and it just oh my gosh so good this is up there for me with after by Anna Todd I love that series so much Anna Todd actually blurbed the back of this book if you guys can see that she said that it's brave and a heartbreaking novel that digs its claws into and doesn't let go no one delivers an emotional read like Colleen Hoover which that was so true it definitely I feel like it tore my heart out it was so beautiful but I love after by Anna Todd and that's actually part of the reason why I picked this book up uh, because I saw that she blurbed it on the back and I was like okay if she says that like this book has to be fantastic so I picked it up finally and I read it and it did not disappoint at all if you guys love a good romance love story but it's got some like darkness to it like you have to pick this up it's so so beautiful it's not going to be your light fluffy contemporary romance book it's not there's some deep elements into it there's some darkness in it but it's 
it's done so well that it's just it's a, such a pleasure to read and I loved it so 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 much I can't say enough good things about it so if you guys haven't picked this book up you have to you need to it's amazing and also that was my first Colleen Hoover book I've ever read I know that a lot of people love Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, so I'm planning on picking that book up very, very soon. But if you guys have any more recommendations by Colleen Hoover, please comment them down below because I want to read more and more of her books, but I don't really know where to start. I know that I want to read Ugly Love next, but then after that, I'm not sure like what I should read, what I shouldn't. So let me know down below. If you guys have any recommendations, if you have any recommendations of books that are similar to Colleen Hoover books, I would love to know that because these are my favorite kind of like romance books is with like, like it, the deep stuff. Like, yes, I love to every once in a while read like a light fluffy romance, but for the most part, I love to read like the darkness of it because that's what like really like tears me apart and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So if you guys have any recommendations, please comment them down below. I loved this book. I gave it five out of five stars. I totally recommend it. I flew through it pretty fast. It's not that long. So that's really all I have to say about it. Um, if you guys have read it, let me know if you guys liked it. And maybe we can talk about it in the comments. But that's all I have for you guys today. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.